Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about how to make a digital planner to sell on Etsy. In this video, we will reveal a platform from which you can make a free digital planner. We will also demonstrate for you how you can make a digital planner to sell on Etsy and how to download it for free. So watch this video till the end to better understand all these steps. Digital planners are the new and trendy way of keeping yourself organized without the need of a diary or book to note things down, thereby saving trees and saving the planet. Etsy is an online platform where you can buy or sell such digital planners. Let's have a look at the digital planners on Etsy. In the top search bar, type digital planner and search for it. Here on this page, you can see that there are lots of digital planners for daily, weekly, monthly and even yearly use. For example, this digital planner, it is a yearly planner for 3 years which is sold at $10.88. This is also a yearly planner of 2 years which is sold at $11.34. If you look at these planners, you will notice that almost all the planners are yearly ones and they are sold at a good price compared to daily or monthly ones. So we recommend you to go ahead with a yearly planner to make success on Etsy. To start selling your digital planner, first you will need to create it. Don't worry, we are going to demonstrate each step for making your digital planner and we will also reveal a platform on which you can make it and download it for free. For making a digital planner, there are many websites where you can create it, but we recommend you to use Canva as it has lots of templates and also you can download your planner for free. Visit canva.com and if you have an account, log in by using the login button on the top right corner or else use the sign up button to create an account. After successfully logging in or signing up, use this search bar to search for digital planner. On the search results page, you can find so many templates that you can use for creating your planner. Scroll down to find a suitable one for your purpose, but if you want to create your planner from scratch, click on the create a design button on the top right corner and select custom size. It is better and standard to make your planner in the A4 size, so change the pixel to inch from the drop down menu and here enter the width and the height of a standard A4 paper and then click on the create new design button, you will be taken to the design interface. If you're a newbie at Canva, you can go through this tour or you can skip it. Now from here, you can create a name for this project. We are naming it Digital Planner. Now let's start the designing process of the planner. First, change the color of the canvas. So click on it. And then click on the color icon on the top corner and select a color from this palette. You can use any color depending on your choice. We can use this page as the cover for our digital planner, so let's make it attractive. Design is an art, so anyone can create a better design. The more time you spend on designing, the more attractive your design will be. So take your own time for designing. And if you don't wish to decorate your planner, just skip these steps. Click on the Elements tab in the left sidebar and search for flowers. You can go through the page to find a suitable one. We are continuing with this. Click on it and it will be added to the canvas. Now drag it to the bottom right corner. Use the color palette to change its color and you can also scale it by dragging it from the corners. We are going ahead and decorating our planner. To save your time, we are fast forwarding this section. Now let's add a title. Click on the text tab in the left sidebar and you can use this add a text box button to add a text or else use one from the below text presets. Once you find a suitable one, click on it. Delete the preset text from the canvas and then double click it. Select the size and then add your own text. We are writing digital planner. We will do some more decorations on this cover page, so we are fast forwarding this part. So this is our final cover page. 
Now we need to create the next page. So click on the add page button. We can rename this page as year. As we're creating a yearly planner, we need to add years. For this, click on the text tab again in the left sidebar, select any preset text, delete the unwanted text box, double click and select the font size and then type select the year. This will be the heading of this page. Adjust its size and alignment and move it to the top of the page. We can add a line below it. For this, click on the Elements tab and search for Arrow. Select any one from here, drag it below the heading text and adjust its size. You can also use the same color of the headline for it. Now we need to add years. Search for Box in the Elements tab and click on your desired one. Now resize it and move it to the left corner and then click on the text tab. Click on the preset text and rename it to 2022. Move it over the box and change its color. So here we have our first year. We just need to duplicate this box and text to create a new year. Again, we're fast forwarding this part. You can decide how many years you want to add to your planner. Here we are going to add till the year 2029 and also we are using separate colors for each one. So here this year's page is done. Now we will add a new page for the month. Just repeat the same process of renaming the page, adding headlines and arrows. Now search for month in the elements tab and select a suitable one. Click on it and move it to the left corner. Resize it, change its color and add a preset text and rename it to Jan. Scale it and move it inside the box and now duplicate the box and text 11 more times to add the remaining months. Rename all the texts and also change its color. So now we are done with the month page as well. Now create a new page which will be used for date. Repeat the same steps and then search for calendar in the elements tab. Click on it, scale it to fit the page and then add the names of the seven days of the week in this first column. Now we need to add a date. Here we are creating this calendar for the month of October 2022. So the month starts from Saturday. Duplicate the first date and fill the remaining in the boxes. And so here we are also done with the date page. Now add a new page again and rename it to Planner. Repeat the same steps of adding the headline and the planner categories. You can create these categories according to your choice and preferences. So here we are done with the planner category as well. Now we just need to create separate pages for each category. Click on the Add Page button to create a new page and repeat the same steps for all of the other category pages. We are fast forwarding these steps as we've already shown them earlier. So we are done with all the pages. Now we have to add hyperlinks between the pages of our planner. We're demonstrating for the month of October 2022. Select the box and the text together and then group them. And then click on the link and then select the month page from the list and then click on done. Now come to the month page, repeat the same steps of grouping and adding the link and select the date page. Now come to the date page, select the first date and add a link to the planner page. Now come to the planner page and add the link of each category to their respective pages in the planner. And once you're done adding all the links, click on this icon to view all the pages together. Your planner is now ready. Click on the share button on the top right corner and click on the download button. Select PDF as the file type and click on download and your planner will start downloading. With this, we have completed our tutorial on how to make a digital planner to sell on Etsy. This brings this video to an end. We truly hope you liked it. If you have any suggestions or want us to make a video on any specific topic, feel free to comment below. We will see you soon in our next video. Till then, stay tuned and stay subscribed to our channel.